Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create digital stickers on Canva that you can sell later on on Etsy. So as you know, nowadays there are multiple ways for you to find or to make some monies and one of them are by selling digital goods. And if you take a look on Etsy's, there are a lot of people that start selling digital goods such as planner, journal, templates and stickers. So as you can see now, I'm on my Etsy's account and I search for digital stickers and there are some profile that are able to sell digital stickers and make some good money out of it. And today I'm going to show you how you can create stickers that looks similarly to the one that we've seen on Etsy's right now. Usually what I do before I start to create or to design some stickers, I would like to take a look at the one that are most popular right now to make sure that I will be able to create good stickers that are going to sell pretty well. So the first thing you will want to do after you decided what kind of stickers you want to create is go to Canva and then you can choose on the canvas measurement or you can choose on the canvas size. I'm just going to use a poster size for now, but you can always seek for references on the digital goods that have already been sold. You can take a look on what kind of canvas they usually use. But today I'm just going to use the one with the poster size. Next, what you're going to do is you will want to try to find on the elements on which stickers you will like to create. Today I'm going to create a stickers that have sushi theme on it because I like sushi and sushi sometimes looks cute if you animate them so i'm going to use sushi as my sticker theme for now over here i'm using a canva pro but you can always use the free one they still have selections of elements that you can use so feel free to use the canva free but however there is a step that will require you to use the canva pro and I'm going to show you later on on the video. So right here, as you can see, I've added my sushi element, but to make it a little bit more original because I don't want to sell just a free element from Canva. I would like to customize it a little bit. I will add some wordings. I'm going to add a text and this one is going to say Oishi. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to give one an effect to it because I don't want my text to be just a straight line. I'm going to make it a little bit curvy and this one looks nice. And then I'm just going to position it on top of my sushi and then I'm going to adjust it a little bit so that it will look nice. All right. Now, after I add my text, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add a cute face for my sushi again so that I am creating a new sort of original design. I'm not going to use just a plain element. So on my element section, I'm searching out for a cute face and then I'm going to choose this one because this one looks really cute. And then I'm going to put it on my sushi. And that basically is going to be the first sticker on my stickers collection. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you a step that will have to make you use Canva Pro because actually we will have to download these pictures before we move on the next step and I'm going to show you why. To create stickers, I usually will put a shadow effect and to do that, you just have to go to your image photo editor on the top left of your screen. You're going to click on the edit photo and then you're going to want to switch to the old editor because apparently the new editor doesn't really show the shadow effect option. So I'm going to go to my old editor and then you're going to be able to find the shadow effect by searching on the search bar you can type in shadow and you're going to find the shadow effect right here so if you don't download this pictures that we've just created yet what's going to happen is once you apply it on the shadow it's not going to apply to the entirety of the element as you remember i end up wording as well as cute face on my sushi element 
But if I click on the shadows, what happened is just going to give shadows to one element instead of all of them. And we don't want that. We need the shadow to differentiate between the background and the stickers. And I'm going to show you what I meant later. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this as PNG and then I'm going to remove the background. So this is the part on which I told you you might need the Canva Pro, but don't worry. Canva actually offers 30 days trial, so you can go ahead and try to use that for now. And then I'm going to create a new page. This is going to be my stickers collection and this is going to be the product that I'm going to put on Etsy's if I want to sell the stickers. So go ahead and add up your background. I'm just going to use red for now. And then I'm going to re-upload the pictures that we just downloaded back to Canva. And after that, I'm going to add my elements to my second page. And then after that, I can finally add the shadow effect. As you can see here, after I put on the shadow effect, what happened is that the shadow are going to affect all of the part of my elements, not just the text, not just the cute face, not just the sushi. It's going to put shadows on the entire pictures. So the settings you're going to do is you're going to adjust the size according to how thick you will want your border or your shadows to be. You're going to want to put the blur all the way down and you're going to want to put the transparency all the way up. And because my background is red color, I'm going to use white as the separation or as the color that makes it different. I want to separate my stickers to my background so I'm going to use white and then as you can see once I put my transparency all the way up and then I drag the size bar it's going to increase the size of my white border and that's what you're looking for. You obviously don't have to use white as your sticker border you can use other color but I personally prefer it white and that is it. That's my first sticker and now off screen I'm going to create some more stickers. And this is how my stickers looks like. I ended up adding not just sushi but they're also onigiri and soyu and wasabi just so that it has lots of variety. And I also added some little elements so that my stickers collection isn't too bland. It actually have some decoration on it. I also add some title that says cutie sushi. And the way that I did to create the other stickers are exactly the same like the one that I've already shown you earlier. I use the exact same step. I'm just using a different wording as well as different picture. And that is it. That is basically how you can create a stickers collection, digital stickers that you can sell on Etsy later. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.